Okay, another thing that um, we touched upon this a little bit uh, in the previous slide, you know, things that can go wrong. Uh, but we're going to talk about it here as well. Arc circle post formats. Um, if your machine supports arc motions, the GO2s and the GO3s, and you want to enable those so that you get better, uh, if you have arcs enabled, you'll have a better uh, surface finish because it's it's uh, outputting as an actual arc. The motions will be uh, an arc motion. It won't be a bunch of linear motions that's faceted uh, around a certain arced area. So if you have arc fitting enabled, it's it's if you have it, if you support it in your controller, it's always a good thing to enable it because it'll it'll save on the amount of G code that you're outputting. Obviously, if you see here, you got one line of code for an arc. If you don't have arcs enabled, this may end up being a hundred lines of linear motion, depending on your your uh, global tolerance that you have set up for the operation. I think, uh, hey Don, I, I don't believe any machines that are shipping uh, uh, today uh, do not have arc support. So uh, there may be an uh, older one. There may be an older one. Yeah, we run very rarely. We run into machines that don't support arcs. So, so. If, you, if your machine doesn't support arcs, then I think it's time for an upgrade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's just go through the, the steps here to, uh, to check your arc output. Uh, in step one, obviously, you want to go into your uh, operation dialog. Um, every operation dialog, um, I would say 90% of them have a global tolerance. They will all actually all have a tolerance. Some will be... Uh, in three axes, you'll see an intolerance and out tolerance, but in two axes, you'll just see uh, one uh, tolerance value. You want to check that tolerance value, and then you want to go, if that operation supports arc fitting, it will be located on the advanced cut parameters tab. You'll see a area called uh, cut arc fitting, and it will have a value for, uh, for arc fitting tolerance. So, we recommend this arc fitting tolerance be two times your global tolerance. So in these images, you see we have 1,000 set for the three axis in and out tolerance. We have 2,000 set for the arc. If you, you're concerned about accuracy, if 2,000 is not a, uh, uh, accurate enough, set your final accuracy in the arc fitting uh, tab, the um, advanced cut parameters arc fitting tolerance set that to be your final tolerance, and then go back into your global tolerance and set that to half uh, of this tolerance. But these two do need to be related as far as what the values are. If you have this arc fitting tolerance set too high, like we mentioned previously, you know, one or two of these arcs could be way out in space somewhere or could be interpreted uh, incorrectly. So you want to tighten these tolerances to what you need uh, in the uh, finish, uh, surface finish uh, of your part. So we covered number one, number two, setting your tolerances for your arc output. Now, item number three on your cam preferences, uh, there's an area on the output control uh, dialog that is called arc output. And there's a global checkbox here for always output arcs as linear motions. Typically, as Joe mentioned, if it's a relatively new machine, um, you won't be using this checkbox. So uncheck, make sure that's unchecked. And I believe Joe is unchecked by default. Um, and yes, it's unchecked by default. Yeah. Yeah. Also, these three checkboxes below, um, if your controller, or your machine supports arcs in each of the three principal planes. Um, so you want to make sure each of these uh, are checked. Uh, I have run across some user show where only the XY plane was supported and uh, the ZX or the ZY plane was not supported as far as arc output. So if, if you you may have problems and you see a plane code, and if you see on your controller that you have an error at a plane code, which is a, a G17, 18, or 19, I believe, uh, if you see uh, an error at one of those codes, that refers to the uh, plane that the arc is being posted on. So you might want to double check uh, these options here. Now, if you look at number four here, obviously just that is just uh, the arc motions in the toolpath. Uh, if you see dark blue motions, those are arc motions. 
if you see light cyan colored, like over here in these dialogues, if you see a light blue cyan color, that's a linear motion. That's not an arc motion. So if you want arc fitting, make sure you're looking at blue motions in your uh, G-code file. And you will only see blue motions when there's an arc. If it's a straight line, you won't, it'll just be a light cyan color. Yeah, that is provided uh, you have not customized the color of the motions. So yeah, yeah. by default, this is the color that yeah. we output. Good point. So in item number five, we have a tab in the post process uh, generator specifically for arcs and circles. So you see the circle item selected on the left. Um, you have uh, G code values uh, up the top for your clockwise arc and counterclockwise arc. These are your plane codes that I mentioned, 17, 18, and 19. Typically, don't you don't want to mess with these because these are standard and uh, set already for you, so don't mess with those. But underneath that, you see arc uh, output format for arcs. You see a lot of options here. Uh, it may be that your machine controller uh, expects to see uh, the arc formatted in a certain way. So you look at number six here, this is just an example of an arc being formatted out. We have a GO3 and then we have XY, we have an I and a J, uh, no R. So in this case, it's just I, I, J, K only. There's no R value listed. So if you need uh, R, I, J, K and radius, you would select this option radius only, there's just a number of different things you can select here. So you need to look at your machine controller manual. Uh, if you don't understand the manual, call your machine uh, vendor uh, or the machine uh, manufacturer and ask them to send you detailed instructions on uh, outputting or uh, interpreting arcs for your machine controller. And once you find out what the proper format is, you can go back and make that adjustment here uh, in your post. Or if you still don't understand what the machine tool vendor is telling you, and you don't understand what to do here, um, send us the information from your machine tool vendor and we'll make sure uh, we'll make the appropriate uh, adjustments and send you a post uh, to test. Okay, so I think the arc circle format it's covered pretty well. Okay, uh, arc formats. We mentioned uh, in the operations, if you want to output arc formats uh, in the cup parameters tab, you have a tolerance. Okay, if you look at this dialog right here, uh, by default, without fitting arcs, you have linear motions. That's the light blue motions here, uh, the cyan color. If you want to fit arcs, you want to go to the advanced cut parameters tab under arc, cut arc fitting, check this box and give it an arc fitting tolerance, which by, um, as a rule, should be two times your global tolerance and a blue motion will be posted out, uh, arc motion will be posted out instead of a light cyan color. And then uh, also in the post to G code, if you want to edit the post and look for circle, these are the uh, different options for outputting your arc uh, outputs, your GO2s and your GO3s. If you're getting an error on your controller at a line and it has a GO2 or GO3, it's related uh, to one of these options uh, in the post definition here. So typically you can, uh, what we recommend is you contact your machine uh, vendor, find out what the format is, look, at, look it up in the manual, uh, see what it needs to be defined as. If you don't understand it, uh, send us that information and we'll make the required change.